call this meeting to order. Although we got to get Annie back in too, but Scott could go ahead, I guess. Are we going to get Annie back? She's coming back, but I can start without her. Okay, anymore. it is uh, 5.53 and I'd like to call the uh, Capital Planning Committee meeting of March 30th to order. We now have a quorum. Today we're gonna have presentations by both the school committee and the DPW. And I guess, uh, which one of you two wanna go first, Scott or Chris? I have a, a school committee meeting in a half an hour, so I'd really love to be able to go first if that's possible. Okay, let's do that. And you also only have four items versus Scott has uh, many more. So you're up, Chris. The floor is okay. yours. Tell All me right, when you're you. starting with carpeting. Um, sure. I, I shut down all of my uh, files just when we were closing the meeting. So there, I just opened them back up again. All right, so the first item that we have is carpeting replacement uh, for various places in Hopkins Academy and at the central office. Uh, basically, the carpeting in the office area of Hopkins and the carpeting in the central office is pretty much added at this point. Um, it's, it's worn out, it's stained, it's, it's just dirty, and um, it's, it's really time for new carpeting in both of those. Um, so we were looking to replace uh, the carpeting in both buildings over the summer if possible. Let me just come back to this. Um, I did send out the quotes that we received for it. Um, can you see it on the screen, Chris? I can, yes. Okay. So I think they, they, um, they gave the quotes for the carpeting over, you know, they basically broke down the buildings into several different areas. Um, and the, total amount of all of the carpeting is $31,654 for that. Uh, that's, that's the one quote we had received. Obviously with the price of that amount, we'd have to get three quotes. Um, and I know that Jeff Mish is seeking the other quotes now. Um, and uh, so, you know, we will have those obviously before uh, the project gets started, but at least we had one quote that was submitted to us now. So I any think that was all of them. From anybody, any questions? No, nope, hearing none, why don't you move on to the uh, next item, Chris? Okay, I have the HES Wi-Fi. Um, I guess that's the next one. I'm not really sure of the order you guys have them, but um, so we have some uh, Wi-Fi issues at Hadley Elementary. Uh, what this tends to do is really cause a great deal of stress during MCAS time because we need all of the students to, to have good Wi-Fi performance um, you know, when they're taking those MCAS tests. And there are just a lot of dead spots in the building. Uh, you know, one of the things that has happened as we got all of the Chromebooks, which is great for the students to have, um, but the downside to that is that now we have a lot more students accessing the Wi-Fi on a daily basis. And with the dead spots that we have in the building, it was determined that if we added more access points to the building and moved some of the existing ones around, it would solve that whole problem of the dead spots and greatly increase the performance um, of the Wi-Fi in the building. I see a screen up, but I don't. You're not seeing the the Orchard Electric. No, I just see your kind of Windows Explorer uh, where hey, I, I. Oh, okay. Uh, let me. No, what is wrong with it? How's that? Yep. There That's okay. good. All right. So the quote we got on this is a two-part quote. The first is uh, from Orchard Electric. They'll be running wires um, throughout the building and uh, also some at the central office running from the server room to downstairs where our uh, connection comes into the building. And if you could just scroll down to the second part of the quote, please. Um, I think it's on the next page. All right. So this is the quote for the actual increased um, or the, the extra access points that we'd be putting in.
So the total is those two? Um, yes, I, I have the total here, uh, HES Wi-Fi. The total is $15,020. Okay. And Chris, what's the timing on that project? Um, well, it'd be great to know really all of these projects, as I'm sure you guys are aware. You pretty much have to place the orders now to get them in, hopefully in the summer. Um, and that's obviously where this kind of work would need to be done because we, we're going to have people running wires and ceiling tiles being removed, all that kind of stuff. So it's really not something that we would want to do during the school day um, with students there. But um, so, you know, it, it's uh, obviously I'm aware that we'd have to wait for town meeting vote on it anyway. But you know, at least we could kind of put somebody on notice that, OK, it's been it's been gone through this part of it. So get ready, you know. Um, because things just take so long to come in at this point, it's really kind of a struggle. Right. Okay. Any other questions, anybody? Okay, Chris, let's, let's keep moving on to the next one then. Okay, so the next one is um, an upgrade to the school district's computer network, uh, the switches that we have in the building. Um, basically we have kind of a, well, as, as it says in, in the form that we submitted, a patchwork collection of older switches. Um, and, and that's basically true. We've kind of repurposed things um, from one place to another. And the problem at this point in time, it, it's a couple of things. The, the switches are slower than what we could get now and, and really what's needed now. Uh, and the other thing is that they are not compatible with newer things that we're using. Uh, you know, say like upgrade to Windows 10. Oops, they're not compatible with that. You know, it's that kind of issue. So we're not able to make the district as secure as possible with the older switches. We need these newer switches that are compatible with the new upgrades that we want to put in for security uh, situations. And, uh, and so that's why these are needed uh, just to get them all on the same page, um, you know, with the same models throughout the district uh, and get rid of those older ones. The older ones are, are pretty old. Um, some are more than 10 years old and it's just, that's, you know, it, as we know with, with tech stuff, I mean, 10 years is, uh, is a long time. And unfortunately, you know, we've had just a, a major upgrade of items in the last couple of years as school districts and the world in general really went into a, a ton of just, you know, remote things and um, wireless upgrades and everything where all of a sudden these upgrades for security are available, but our switches don't allow it. So, um that's uh, basically for the reason for that. I don't know if anyone has any questions for the switches. Well, it's just, it's both for security and performance. Correct, yes. Anyone else, any questions? And finally, the last item, Chris. Um, the last ones are the screens and projectors. Um, so we had a number of Promethean boards and uh, projectors on carts that uh, the teachers would point at screens in classrooms. Uh, the problem with that at this point in time is that, um, I mean, a lot of them are, are old and just aren't working anymore. Um, again, <laughs> we've had the IT department take parts off of dead projectors and, and use them on, you know, ones that kind of keep their lives going and stuff. But at this point in time, there's a bunch of them that either aren't working or are working um, not correctly. Yeah, there's a lot of pages to this uh, particular quote. It's kind of a two-part quote. Um, and so this will, will get them all updated. The uh, projectors will be hung from the wall rather than a cart that they have to kind of move desks around and, and get in the middle of the classroom. Um, and it'll make it where the image on the screen is actually going to be a heck of a lot sharper than what we had before. Sometimes it was actually difficult to read what was on the screen. Um, and this will rectify all of that as well. So it's a two part. We have um, it's this thirteen thousand yep. dollars here, um, and uh, a couple of pages later, there's also a, uh, a monitor. Yeah, if you can keep scrolling, I'll tell you when to stop. I think it's on the next page. No, nope, the one after. Yeah, this page is um, is another uh, like a larger screen monitor that we're putting in. Um, that we can connect computers to. So it's great for meetings where instead of having people separately on laptops, um, you know, and, and kind of talking about, well, if you could see this, we can all look at the same image up on the screen. Uh, it just works much better for meetings. Um, so this was uh, one of the items on there. 
and uh, let's see if I can find what I submitted for that. So the total cost of uh, the screens and projectors will be $22,530. Um, there's a labor component of this as well. Uh, and we're not quite sure of the label, uh, labor amount. We did get an estimate on it. It's not on this particular invoice. Okay. Um, we're not sure if we need to outsource that or not yet. So we, we uh, I didn't send it in. I can certainly do that if you'd like, um, but we may or may not have to uh, utilize the labor portion um, of the quote we got. So Chris, where is all this equipment gonna be? Is that split between both schools or? That's correct. Yeah, a, a lot of it is in Hopkins uh, where we had just older equipment in general there, but um, we've done some upgrades on our own at this point in time, just because you know a lot of them you know really had to go, um, but we wanted to kind of just complete it and, and get the rest of them <coughs> on the same system that we uh, that we upgraded for the for the past year. Um, but yes, it is split between the two buildings. Okay. Anyone else? Well, I guess uh, hearing no other questions, I guess you're all set. Thank you very much, Chris. We appreciate it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Capital Committee. We appreciate it. Well, we appreciate you two attending too. And thank you, David, for saving the day. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. <laughs> uh, Scott, you're up next. Good evening. Uh, I'll start on the top of my list. Uh, highway drainage projects. This is a request uh, for just, this is a request for just engineering for drainage problems on French Street, Breckenridge, and Huntington Road. Uh, we have a lot of drainage problems there, and we're requesting funds to uh, try to find the fix. Uh, we're starting to have uh, residents uh, have property damage there due to uh, runoff water, and we're looking for uh, $85,000. And uh, once again, that is just for engineering. So we know the fix and are going to be able to go to the next step once we have that. Anyone, any questions? I'm sorry, I'm not able, haven't been able to get that up. How about that? Okay. Is that the one you just did? The drainage. So I just have them all scanned like this, Scott. Um, I don't know how to jump around and find where you are. They're all on yeah. one scan. You want to follow in the order that it's showing here? I, I'll do whatever you want. I, I'm going by that the list you gave me this afternoon. Okay. You're not seeing anything, though, Linda. You're not. Okay. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. So what do you have next, Scott? The plow truck? Yeah, the next one would be the replacement 10-wheel plow truck. Uh, the current 19, or I'm sorry, the current 2004 plow truck is in uh, desperate need of replacement. It's starting to uh, show a lot of rot and mechanical problems. Uh, when we Unfortunately, it always breaks down during the snow and ice event. Uh, it's, it's becoming uh, high maintenance, the repair parts and stuff are starting to get hard to get for it. And we are requesting $350,000 to replace this vehicle. Okay. Is anything showing now? No, just the Okay, I, I guess. No. Files is showing on. You may as well just keep going because I, uh, it's it's just not working for me tonight. Sorry. And that one you're going to pay for. It looks like it's split from borrowing and uh, water. Water, water, and uh, general government. Nothing from wastewater or sewer. Uh, no, they don't uh, have any use of that vehicle. Okay. And then what's the next? The mower? Yeah, uh, replacement mower. The uh, current 2012 John Deere 
has a failed engine is in not uh, usable. Uh, we looked into getting a replacement engine for it. There is not a complete engine available. You'd have to buy uh, the lower engine and hopefully your cylinder heads and everything else are good to go along with it. And the mower is starting to show some uh, rot, body rot and other things. Uh, we feel that it's not worth replacing the engine in it. Uh, so we are requesting uh, $45,000 to replace that more. And that's coming out of three sources, I see. Okay, so this that screen is showing. Huh? Okay, is. I, I couldn't get the other one, so I just did the summary sheet. And that's what Scott's following okay, anyway. That's perfect. Okay. Three sources out of this one, Scott? Y yes. Well, this and, we did, will, and is it an even third? Did it break it up right? Uh, I believe so. A third, a third, and a third. Okay. Okay, and how about the payloader? Uh, <clears throat> yes. Uh, we are looking to replace a 1995 John Deere payloader. Uh, once again, the vehicle is starting to have mechanical problems. Uh, parts are becoming a problem for it. Uh, it's showing some significant rot. Uh, it is a, a, a very valuable piece of equipment for the DPW, uh, everyday operation, of course, uh, snow and ice. And we are requesting $255,000 for replacement of that vehicle. What happens with the old one? Does that, does that get traded in? <laughs> yeah, yes, it, it, do, it does have some trade in value. Uh, what those numbers are, I haven't gone that far yet. Uh, I just have an estimate, a rough, you know, on what we were looking at. But as far as uh, having people come around and uh, do a trade in value and things of that nature. Uh, we haven't done that yet. And the 50, 50 split makes sense with that one too. Yes. So nothing again out of sore. On that one. Uh, once again, they don't use that vehicle. All right. Anyone else? Okay, that takes care of the highway division. Mm -hmm. Now we can jump into the water division. Uh, Callahan filter, well filter replacement. Uh, we're requesting $50,000. Uh, this goes uh, for filter replacement of our, for our drinking water at the Callahan wells. This is a, a regular occurrence request to you folks. It's a, uh, it's been requested uh, every year, but just the uh, amount has gone up this year. The uh, cost of, has inflated. Any questions? Anyone else? Like Scott, so that's pretty routine. I know we've yeah, seen that, that's very routine. Yeah, we've seen this before. Yes, just at a, at a lower amount. And then next you have propane. Yeah, uh, propane tanks for the Callahan wells. Uh, currently, uh, first of all, we're requesting $26,000. Currently, we lease the propane tanks, and we are subject to having them filled by the lease E, and we are paying an astronomical amount of money for propane. Uh, with this being funded, uh, we are going to own our tanks along with the other buildings in town, and we will be able to go out to bid on our propane. And in long term, this will pay for itself in savings of fuel. And last night in my budget, I requested a uh, lesser amount for fuel, hoping that this gets funded and we can move forward in owning our propane tanks. There is two propane tanks there. Uh, 
one for heating the building and one for uh, fuel for the generator. So that's kind of nice. The savings will, over the years will help pay for this. Yes. And we are, we are looking at uh, high quality tanks that uh, should last a lifetime if uh, maintained. Mm -hmm. But the, the biggest savings will be able to go out to bid along with the other buildings for fuel. Right, okay, and then lastly, does anyone else have any comments or questions? And lastly, we have the uh, Mount Warner and Holyoke, Mount Holyoke well repainting. Yeah, uh, Mount Holyoke, Mount Warner water tank repainting, requesting $310,000. Uh, the town's water tanks, they are steel and they are showing uh, flaking paint and they, they, they need uh, preventive maintenance. Uh, this is part that goes with owning steel water tanks. Uh, it's a costly thing to do. The paint is very expensive and the prep is very uh, timely. They have to put staging around all the tanks to work on it. Uh, and they come from the uh, middle of the country. There's no one even local that does this kind of work. And if we do both tanks together, there is a cost savings that uh, for mobilization because they're here. Uh, you, I, I would rec highly recommend doing this. This will protect your drinking water asset. Uh, it, it, it's highly in need of painting. And when was the last time? Do you have any idea? I, I believe it's original paint. Really? They, they've been, I, I believe they've been like pressure wash and things of that nature before but never painted this would be the first time okay and didn't we dick you may remember a few years ago didn't we do something with the inside of the tanks scott maybe you remember uh you you, you <laughs> have to i'm not sure if it was just a cleaning i don't think the insides have been painted uh eventually they will need to be but the inside of the tank uh isn't exposed to the elements so the paint lasts a lot longer on the inside than out mm-hmm I think it was just cleaning too. It was what, Linda? It was just cleaning. Cleaning, okay. They did scrubbers to, yeah. Okay. So this is a first time event. Yes. It's like uh, this, this paint must last quite uh, a it, long it, time. Yeah, it lasts, it lasts a long time, but it, it's, a, it's a process to do to say the least. Right. Okay, anyone else? Any questions? Okay, done with the water division. Let's jump into the sewer. Yep. Uh, uh, we are looking for $75,000 to replace uh, Uh, four se uh, seven roofs of the sewer pump stations. Uh, most of these roofs are original, uh, dating back to the mid 70s. Uh, the roofs are starting to lose shingles, and we are starting to see a little uh, water creeping into the building. Uh, there is a lot of critical uh, electrical equipment in those buildings, uh, and there's they're starting to show water coming in. We are looking to replace the current uh, asphalt shingle roofs with metal, so hopefully it lasts the lifetime of the building. Now and we'll never have to do this again. Uh, the metal roof, I I'm told, is much superior than any kind of asphalt product. And once again, these, these are original roofs. I'll correct that, so it's plural, but how many roofs did you say it was, Scott? How many building roofs? Seven. Seven, 
So okay. is that all of the pump stations? Uh, no, there are some that are not in need of repair at this moment. These are the uh, most critical ones. So in, down the road a few years from now, you may be coming for a, another appropriation or uh, for the uh, remainder? Yes. But these, these are the, uh, th this, this is a really good chunk of what we need to do. There, there won't be much left after, uh, one of them, one station doesn't even have a roof. It's a self-contained manhole so that we take that one right out of the picture anyway. So this basically, this basically will take care of it for you or for the town, uh, uh those, uh, secondary lift stations. Okay. All right. Anyone else? And lastly, on the docket, uh, the yes, sewer mission yes. communications. Yeah, mission communication. This is our monitoring system for the sewer pump stations and the main plant. We're requesting thirty thousand dollars for upgrades. Uh, this this is due to the. Uh, loss of the 3g network currently that that equipment is 3g and we are losing that uh 3g uh capability we need to upgrade this and this is the cost of upgrading and some uh control uh things that go along with the project so we can monitor a couple of different things also so this is one, it's almost like not an option. No, it's not an option. You have to do it. So will this jump into 5G or? What it, uh, it goes to four, I believe. Okay. It, it could, yeah, it goes to the current lesser standard, I guess. It, this this has kind of been a nightmare. It's, it's uh, one of those, uh, you know, COVID things, lack of staff, lack of uh, people to talk to. And it's it's been tough even try to get a hold of these people to uh, get uh, estimates on the equipment that we need. It's got to be done. But, it's, it, but it has to be done. Okay. And, and like I said, to, uh, we're going to add uh, a couple monitoring channels so we can monitor uh, some high levels in a couple of the important pump stations that currently aren't uh, monitored. So it, it's an upgrade with that also. It, it's all coincides with, with itself. So this is all wireless? Yes, our, uh, those, when the, originally when that was put in, it was uh, through the phone lines, but that has been disconnected. And when this, this system was put in, it's cellular and it's currently 3G and, uh, the carrier is not going to provide 3G anymore at the end of the year. So you got nine months to get this in. Yeah, it will we'll be able to do it if you if uh if it's approved. Great. Anyone else? All right. Well, thank you, Scott. Great job, too. By the way. Thank you. Nice executive summaries. I I apologize. It's my it's really my first time doing this, and uh, you know I I appreciate your feedback, and I'm trying my best. Well, you're doing well. Believe me. All right. Uh, anyone else have anything that you want to discuss? David, are you still with us? I am. Yes. Okay. Good. How much time do you have left? Uh, time sticking. We'll put it that way. I'm gonna try to stay on as long as I can. Okay. Well, do you want to just, uh, why don't we want to cut the meeting and then we can have our deliberations on the 13th then when we have the luxury yeah. of time? That, that way we can devote the, the whole time, yeah. Okay. Well, why don't we do that? Is everybody okay with that? Not all at once, please. <laughs> Linda, Carolyn, Dick. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, then why don't we... Uh...
adjourn the meeting and we'll meet again in two weeks from today and uh, we'll make our deliberations and our decisions. And uh, Carolyn and uh, Linda, did you still want me to come up though for a, a quick? Uh... I, I would if you, uh, I would too. I, yeah. Yeah, because as you saw, the bottom line there for the amount being borrowed is an excess of what we've done before. And we just want to get some some ideas and go over that with you and see how we want to approach it. Or right. right. So that we so the information we provide for that meeting is what you're looking for. It would be helpful. Okay, great. All right, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. <laughs> Second. I think Dick Dick is second second you. Second. second. All right. Thank you, Dick. Your your mic works. <laughs> All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Great. Thank you. The uh, meeting is adjourned. Thank you all for attending. And